Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and today's video is a very highly, highly requested one. Ever since I've been doing hauls on YouTube, you guys have been asking me to review Dolls Kill and I've held off for a while because I didn't really think that anything on their website was in my style. Up until recently, I noticed that some of their Dolls Kill dolls were more my personal style. So Dolls Kill sent me these clothes in this box for free, but this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid in any way because I wouldn't want to do that for a clothing haul. That way I can remain completely unbiased. So let's open up this big old box and see what cool stuff is inside. I kind of dressed up a little bit today with these feathers because I feel like Dolls Kill's style is a little bit different to most websites. So I thought, you know what? Perfect time to dress up. All right, this is the first item and it is gold. And I am very excited because I am obsessed with gold. So this is the first item. It is like a gold chain little bralette bra type thing. And it also comes with a matching choker. Now this sort of style of clothing has been around forever and a day, but I never bought one because you know, it's see-through. I never really knew like, I really liked the style of it, but I just knew I wouldn't wear it. But I am going to a festival soon in 2019, my first ever festival, and I thought something like this with the choker would be perfect. It looks to be made pretty well as well. A lot of these I've heard from people fall apart easily, but it doesn't look like this one has because they have used a lot of fabric, not fabric, a lot of metal to keep it all together as you guys can see there. So this is very cool. So let's try this one on. All right, this is what the top looks like on. I didn't really know how to style it to show you guys, honestly. I haven't bought the rest of the outfit that I want to wear to this festival I'm going to. So I thought, why not just pair it with all white so I can really show off that gold. Just be careful with this because this would be a very delicate top. I was fine with getting it on, but I feel like if I was a little rougher, I could have easily ripped it. So just be very delicate, gentle, and careful when you are trying to put this one on. But it looks very cute, not with this outfit. I don't know what to style it with just yet, but for now, this looks very, very cute, very extra in your face, and could even be good for New Year's. If you're really looking for that extra little sparkle, this is the one for you, so I really like this top. But overall, it's a very cute top, and I love the color and the chain, and of course, the sparkle. Next up is this right here, which, oh my goodness, I, I just need to show you guys before I explain anything. And they are these long pants, as you guys can see here. They come with black suspenders on them, but I'm gonna take off the black suspenders because I just, I'm not a big fan of those. But yeah, I am obsessed with this sort of print. It's like a Burberry style print, but it has been so in this season and I've had nothing in it to wear. So I thought this pair of pants would just be perfect. I've also recently bought a skirt and a pair of shorts in this print. So you could say I'm a little bit obsessed, but hey, it's on trend this season. That and polka dots seem to be really on trend. So. I am very excited for these. So let's try these ones on and see how they look. I hope they fit because I'm obsessed with the print. These are what the pants look like on. They are a little bit baggier than I first anticipated, but then I found that on the side here, these little things right here can tighten up the pants. So that was definitely really helpful once I realized that. And I really like these pants. So although I'm gonna take off the suspenders, I thought I should show you guys what they look like on in case one of you watching this really like wants the suspenders. So this is what it looks like with the suspenders on the front and then on the back. I actually think I'm gonna give these suspenders to my granddad because he loves wearing suspenders and I'm not gonna be wearing them on these pants. So that way they get some good use by someone who will love them. But overall, I absolutely love the design on these pants and the pants definitely give off to me those fashionista Burberry vibes. So I am all about that. So I really love these pants. Next up, this is something that I don't usually show in my hauls, but it is this item right here, and it is a robe. Now, when Dolls Kill reached out to me, it was actually around the time of the Victoria's Secret fashion show. So when I saw this robe, I was like, 
Yeah, I need that. <laughs> I definitely want that. And this is the robe. It's kind of difficult to show right here, but it's this pink robe with some gorgeous feather pink trimming on the sleeves and down the bottom. And it is so girly and so princessy. So this was Victoria's Secret inspired and also Gabby DiMartino inspired. I watch her vlogs and I absolutely love her style. And I just thought this would be something she would wear. And I really, really love it. Let's try on this one and see how it looks and that way you guys can see it a little bit better all right this is what the little robe looks like on now I'm just wearing ordinary clothes I would usually wear this with my PJs but my PJs are a little bit daggy and I didn't want to show them to you guys because it just it would really take away from how beautiful this robe is so I am in love with it as you can tell I just love how flowy it is all of the beautiful feathers and I just feel like the bougiest little princess fairy person in all the land because it's just really nice. It does have a ribbon on it so that if you wanted to tie it up you can do that too and when it's tied up it looks even more beautiful. Ta-da! This is what it's like tied up. This is the front and then of course the back and I am just obsessed with it. I'm gonna be wearing this every morning from now on, especially because it's summer. That way, you know, I can stay nice and cool, but still feel like a million bucks. And as you can tell by all of my weird little dance moves, I'm obsessed with this and I'm definitely feeling myself in it. So I love this one. The next item I chose was this right here. And it is this very bright neon green mini skirt. It's not, it's like a denim stretchy material. I don't quite know how to explain it, but I am obsessed with neon colors this season. They are another thing that's really on trend right now. I feel like ever since Kim K wore that neon two-piece set to a wedding, everyone's been loving neons again, which I am all for. So I thought this skirt was just perfect for the summer. It'll just make a lot of outfits stand out a little bit more and be a bit more summery, colorful, and fun because I tend to gravitate towards the darker colors. I mean, I'm wearing black right now. So I'm really trying to spice up my wardrobe, get those brighter colors in. And I thought a skirt like this, which I can just wear on the regular, would be perfect. And this is what the green skirt looks like on. It is very wham bam in your face. So that is why I just paired it with a very neutral white top. But this skirt is everything I was hoping it would be. It's very bright, firstly. Secondly, it is a good length. When ordering skirts online, I do get a little bit concerned. Because of my height, I'm 5'9". Sometimes how the skirts look on the models is not how they look on me. But this skirt fits perfectly. This is the front and then of course the back and I am just very happy with it. And it's just a really fun colour to try and jazz up your wardrobe a little bit. So I am very happy with this skirt. This next item right here is the one that I've been the most excited to show you guys because I'm basically making a joke of myself with this one and it is this top right here that says Valley Girl and there is a bit of a background on this. So when I uploaded my lowest rated items on Wish video I got a crap ton of hate. I got so much hate in that video and a lot of people in the comments were calling me a Valley Girl and I'm from Australia and I was talking to my stepdad I'm like they think I'm a valley girl. I don't, I don't understand. And my stepdad used to live in America and he explained to me that no, a valley girl in America are girls that like, it's a stereotype pretty much. So it's girls that live in the valley and they aren't very smart and their parents basically pay their way and they use the words like and all that a lot. So that was the main hate comment I got that I was a valley girl. So I just thought this was a fun little poke at all of that and I could just, you know, take the hate in my stride. So the top does look to be a little bit small though, so hopefully it fits me because otherwise what a waste <laughs> because I had this whole story behind it and now I can't even wear it. Yeah, I just thought this would be some fun to poke at the haters. So let's try it on and hope that it fits. And this is what the top looks like on and it's very tight. It is a very tight top. I didn't expect it to be so small when I ordered it, but yeah, it's definitely a tight one. Comes up to be more of a crop top type situation and is a little bit 
see-throughs. So, I mean, if you are bigger chested, definitely size up because I'm quite small chested and I struggle to put this top on. So definitely size up on this one. It is a pretty nice top. I've paired it with a white skirt just to give off more of those valley girl vibes. So I would definitely recommend sizing up on this one. The next item is this one right here. This is what the item is. So it is a dress with all of these numbers down the side. I don't know if the numbers have any meaning. I hope not because when I bought it, I didn't think they did. Hopefully it's not code for something. But I really liked this because it's a direct dupe of the Alexander Wang dress. I think it was it was either a dress or a like tracksuit piece that Kylie Jenner wore. And a lot of companies have been making dupes of it. So it was a bougie on a budget style dress. So I was very excited. You know, Kylie Jenner's dupe for nowhere near the price. So I also loved the straps on these ones. I love thin straps, kind of like the Meshki style. Oh, I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with Meshki. So anything even similar, I'm like, yes, please, need that. We'll wear it every day of my life. Love it. And you guys will be happy to know this black dress is very thick material, double lined, so it's not see-through at all. The only thing is, it kind of looks like it's been cut for people with a little bit more curves than I have, so I will just have to try it on and see, but hopefully I'll be able to fill out this dress because it's very well made and I like it. This is what the dress looks like on and I managed to fill out those curves. I think that's the first time in my life I've ever said that sentence, but I am just very happy that this dress fits because as you guys saw, I was a little bit concerned that it was made a bit too curvy for my body personally, but I was able to fit in it and I'm very happy. I think this will just be a really good like day dress just to wear out. This with maybe some sneakers would be a very cute with all the little numbers down the side looking like Alexander Wang and Kylie Jenner. I love it. This next item, I'm not too sure <laughs> what I was thinking, so we'll have to see what it looks like on because it's definitely not my usual style. But this is what it is, so let's open it up. Ta-da! This is the skirt. It is a pleated checkered skirt that has all of these little like ring things and then that big one there. It's definitely not my usual style. I feel like this is more of the Dolls Kill style, you know, that more emo punk kind of way. Is that what is that what it'd be called as? I don't know, something along those lines. Like, you know, more this sort of style. So I don't really know why I got this, but I think I think if I were to take off these rings, it would be a little bit more my style. But maybe this with a white t-shirt, maybe a white bodysuit, it would actually look really nice. So let's try this on and see how Future Me styles it to show you guys and see what I think. This is what the skirt looks like on and I I just don't know what I was thinking when I chose this skirt. It's definitely not my style at all and I personally don't think I will be wearing it but it is a well made skirt. If you are looking at this skirt and loving it then I do recommend it because it's made really well. The material's really nice. It's very cute and fun to spin around in and it is a very cute skirt as you can see but it is a well made skirt. The length is really nice. I am 5'9 just for height reference and this is how long it is on me. It is quite a short skirt but like not too short. You know at the back it's totally fine to wear so yeah overall very cute skirt. Oh oh I feel like how do you curtsy? I, so like that? I did dance for 10 years. Can you tell by that curtsy? Probably not. But anyway, it is a very nice skirt, but just not my personal style. So I don't think I'll be wearing this one, but if you love it, then by all means, it's a good skirt. And the lucky last item of Dolls Kill is this one right here. It is just a black plain top that comes off the shoulder. And on the front here, it has a bit of a drawstring that you can pull up on like so to make it, you know, a little bit shorter if you want it to be. This is a little bit cheaper material than the rest of the stuff in this haul, but they have sewn on the sleeves really well right there, which is great because <laughs> I've watched shirts like this in the past, not from Dolls Kill, and the sleeves have had one thread keeping it together. So I'm very happy there's more than one holding this together. And it's just a nice black plain top. It actually might go well 
with the skirt. So we'll have to see how those two look together because that might be a cute little black and white outfit right there. So let's try this on and see what we think. This is what the top looks like on. I know I said I thought it would look cute with the skirt from earlier, but putting them on together, it's just not me at all. <laughs> this is more how I would style the top, just for a simple kind of beachy goth vibes kind of day. I say goth because I said beachy, but when I think beach, I think colors, not all black. But hopefully you guys know what I mean from this style of top. So this is what it looks like on. This is the front and then the back. And it is just a very simple, easy breezy top. It's a very quick and easy top just to throw on. It would actually look quite cute on a night out if you are, if you have like more of a more monochrome style. I think this would be a perfect top for a night out. So I really like this one. And that is the end of today's Dolls Kill haul. I hope you guys liked it after you patiently waited so long for me to review it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos two good times a week. However, my uh, upload schedule is about to go a little bit whack because we are in the holiday season. So Christmas falls on a Tuesday. I usually upload on a Tuesday, but I won't be because Christmas, y'all shouldn't be on YouTube anyway on that day. You'll be with your families, hanging out, having fun. So yeah, my upload schedule is going to be a little bit whack because I also want to get up some New Year's Eve videos before New Year's Eve happens and that's a very short time frame so I'm a little bit stressed. But yeah, just be sure to turn on my post notifications and follow me on Instagram and Twitter because that's when I'll let you guys know when I'm posting. There'll still be two videos a week, it just won't be on the regular schedule. But my vlog channel, that is going to stay on the regular schedule so be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel as well. And that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And I will see you next time. Bye.